Hello, I'm Jerry Kirkpatrick, and I'm teaching the fundamentals of metal shaping. In this video, I'm going to be opening a brand new pin rob torch. Uh, they come in a new case now. I haven't opened it, uh, so I thought I'd open it with you and see what's all inside. And if you stay until the end of the video, I'll show you the inside of a Cobra torch, a Hinrob torch, uh, and show you why it works so much more superior than your standard uh, Smith, Victor, and Harris torch. Last week I got a call from a, a fellow and he wanted to take a, an aluminum welding uh, class from me and he said that he wanted to buy a Henrob torch and probably a gas saver. So I ordered one in to sell him and I was quite surprised when, uh, when this box arrived. And uh, you'll see this is what the original torch came in, how they were packaged. So uh, when I received this one, I figured I would open it uh, and let you guys see what all's inside. I haven't seen what's inside uh, myself, so here we go. Pretty nice case. Just a little how do you do uh, with paperwork. Oh, they got all the, uh, the tips are nicely displayed. Uh, they even have the 0.5 tip, which is good. Uh, I always like to sell that one with my kits because that's the perfect tip for welding 18 and 19 gauge steel which most body panels are made out of so that's cool another safety notice we've got a brand new manual is probably the same as the uh, original but now it's on glossy paper. Shows you all of the extra tips that you can get. The 2.5 and the uh, double lot. So that's the same as the earlier version. And here's the torch complete. Uh, something new you get a striker you didn't used to get a striker with them uh -huh. and a new video that shows you all through um, probably a welding aluminum cast iron stainless uh, and cutting now this is rather nice I hadn't seen this before. There's your overcutter, your undercutter, here's your guide wheels broken down, and tip cleaners. So this looks quite complete. That's kind of neat. So I guess you can take your tips out and then there, there's some little dividers here. So you can put them in places and then put each tip in each one. So that's pretty neat. I think uh, they've done a good job with this. Uh, you can use this as a separate container. Uh, I think I'd break everything down, put it in here, and keep that next to your welding cart. There you have it.
stated uh, at the beginning of the video. I'll show you why the Hinrob, Dillon, Cobra, uh, now it's a D uh, DHC 2000 torch uh, works so much more superior than your standard torch. So here in this cutaway that I've made, uh, you can see that the oxygen comes up through this tube and through these two orifices here it fills this chamber in the center for the oxygen which is represented in the middle here and then the acetylene comes up through this tube fills this chamber here and here and then through these orifices here it fills this chamber here and comes through this venturi which is represented by this red circle you have the oxygen flowing right straight through and it's actually drawing the acetylene into that oxygen stream just like a venturi in your carburetor and by the time it gets to this point right here the gases are mixed extremely well that's why you have to use less pressure, uh, even up to a number three tip. You're only using four pounds of oxygen and four pounds of acetylene. So that's why this torch is so much better than your standard Victor, Harris, or Smith. this video please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you want to know more about the Henrob or DHC 2000 torch uh, you can look on my website or give me a call and I'll try to answer any questions you have and if you want to purchase one you will find that on my website Thanks for watching, and if you have any comments, please leave them below.